Hey there, Garrett Sussman of AIPRM. Today in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can use ChatGPT and AIPRM to market your real estate business. Now, you might be a solo real estate agent, you might be part of a larger firm, you might be a marketer working for a real estate agency and you are thinking about how you can attract potential clients. Now, with real estate, it's interesting, right? You've got two potential audiences. You have your buyers and you have your sellers. You might focus on just your sellers or you might work with buyers as well. Either way, it's so critical that you get your marketing out there. And there are all different types of ways for you to market your business. Now, you might have heard about AI and ChatGPT and thinking about how can I use this? Where do I begin? So you sign up, it's free, and you're looking at this blank screen and you're asking yourself, what type of prompt should I even create to start using this tool? Well, that's where AIPRM comes in. See, AIPRM has thousands of pre-built prompts in its library across all range of different marketing, sales, productivity, you name it. There are, there are even a couple of real estate specific prompts, but we're going to dive into marketing for this specific video. So going from our website, you sign on, you got to install the Chrome extension, which is free. You just click one of those buttons from AIPRM.com. And once you're on ChatGPT, you'll actually see the library right in front of you. Now you can search through the entire library. We have tutorials on how to find the right prompt for you, but these prompts are all pre-built made to execute exactly what they say. Some of them might request a little bit of information from you. Some of them, it's really minimal, like really minimal, like one keyword and all of a sudden you have a blog post. But I'm gonna show you a few different use cases of how your real estate agency can use this to generate social media, uh, listings content, or even email campaigns to request reviews. Speaking of, let's dive into that first one. So here's one that I built out. Now, as a real estate agent, you know that reviews are critical, whether it's on Google or Zillow or any of the different real estate specific listing websites, you need reviews for someone to hire you to help you help them sell their house, their property, right? So what you typically want to do is send out an email to past clients and ask them to leave a positive review. So, but writing the copy for asking for that review can feel kind of awkward. The prompt actually makes it really easy. So in this example, all you need to do is choose the number of emails. So we'll say three emails. We'll choose the review site. So we could do Zillow, but we'll just do Google because Google reviews tend to be the most valuable regardless of industry, but it does really help for real estate industry, obviously real estate, boom. And then the important product service feature. So in this case, we'll say selling um, single family houses, right? Okay, and so the business name, we'll make up a business name for this. So we'll, we'll call it um, Green Grass Realtors or Green Grass Real Estate because we know that's a realtors is a copyrighted term. Okay, so we put that in, we click enter, and then all of a sudden we're gonna get these three emails to request a simple review from our happy clients. So you'll see it gives us a few different subject lines. It gives us the cadence. So you know the first one you send out immediately after the close of the sale, the clients moved into their new home. Second is gentle reminder, only two weeks after that first email, because the reality is people forget to leave reviews, right? So you gotta remind them. And then the third one is a final reminder a month after that second email. Makes sense, you're not being too much of a nuisance, but you're, you're sending them the email being like, hey, leave us the review. And so what we get for each of these emails is three subject lines to work with that you know we feel comfortable with because it's coming from our name and it's personalized we have these placeholders for where we can put our customers names so like you know congratulations on your new home michelle uh dear michelle congratulations on your new home we hope you're settling nice nicely at green grass real estate we take great pride in helping our clients find the perfect single family house we would be incredibly grateful if you could take a moment to share your experience with us on google and then it provides you a place where you can leave your link to your google business profile to leave a review how simple is that and then put in your name so you can set this up to go out 
to your clients. And then you don't have to think about what's like that awkward way that I'm going to ask for a review. Second one, you know, just it only takes a minute, but it can make an impact on our business. Thank you for trusting us. Really nice, really nice content. And remember, one of the cool things actually with AIPRM, as you see down here below, is on our paid plans, you can actually choose the tone and the writing style. So you can actually make it, you know, more friendly or humorous or informal or even playful. And then the writing style allows you to, you know, make it more persuasive or more informative. And that way you can add a little bit more of your personality, your brand into the generated AI content. So example one, email review request campaigns. Huge, awesome, simple, set up, done, bam. What else do we have? Okay, so moving on to our second use case, we're going to show you how to create social content. Now, you might, as a real estate agent, you're probably going to be focusing on Instagram, right? It's so visual and you need to get yourself out there. Like you might do Pinterest, you might do Facebook, but for this, let's say Instagram, because you want to showcase those awesome properties that you're helping to sell. So in this case, we'll put in for this great prompt, social media content calendar, 40 posts. So we've got Instagram. Okay. We've got real estate again. Okay, do we want emojis? Are we that type of brand? Do we not want them? Let's include them. Let's say that's fine. And then once again, selling, let's say we'll sell townhouses this time. That's our specialties. Town. I mean, you probably sell a range of different, you know, types of properties, but we'll say townhouses. And then the business name, again, we'll say, you know, green, grass, or let's, you know what, let's, let's even go townhouse relevant, right? Your town real estate. I, I guarantee that's not even a real, I should do like real estate near me. So you're found on Google, right? Cause that's like the thing is for local SEO, but near, near me in the name. Anyway, <laughs> let's, let's run this and let's get some of our social media content recommendations. So this is cool. Um, and actually with anything chat GPT, AI generated be related, you want to make sure that you're reviewing it, that it works for you. You could always do the tone. You could always do the writing style, but let's see what we got. Okay. So first one, meet the heart of your town, explore diverse neighborhoods, each with its unique charm, whether it's bustling urban centers or peaceful suburbs, we know the perfect spot for your new home, your town, real estate, neighborhoods, image of various neighborhoods in your town. Lovely. Okay. Selling townhouses made easy with our in-depth market knowledge and top-notch staging tips. Your townhouse will shine bright like a diamond. I like it. It works. And then a little image recommendation of a staged townhome, uh, living room, for instance, moving to your town. Here's your essential guide to the schools. And so this, this just generates all these ideas. So you don't have to worry about coming up with social media content anymore. There are other uh, prompts in here for if you have an image and you just need a caption for it, you can describe the image and then I'll create the caption. So many potential opportunities with real estate. My third one, I love this. So this is just a extend your short text to extended text. The way I actually use this is I will go to, you know, the Zillow listing or whatever your specific um, proprietary listing, you know, website is, or not proprietary, the one that you use. Grab all of the listing features that you've already put in there. Maybe you have some behind the scenes that you have like documented on a spreadsheet somewhere or you write it out. You copy and paste. So I got this like random example from a nice little house in Austin. And then I'm going to press enter and this is going to create you could use this on a web page. You could use this on like an open house one sheet and watch what it produces from all of this information. Discover the epitome of comfort and style in this modern family residence nestled within the quiet tree lined streets of the prestigious Gilbert Lane subdivision. This immaculate five bedroom, three bathroom, single family residence offers a luxurious living space, living experience conveniently located in the heart of Austin. And it keeps going. It breaks down. It takes all of those features of that property and creates this really nice brochure with appealing language that would make it really appealing, ah, compelling, appealing um, to people potentially buying the house for your sellers. So just think about how valuable that content is to help you sell. So you don't have to like write out the entire listing brochure yourself. Bam.
Okay, and then finally, this one's fun. This is one of those like actual real estate specific prompts. And, and it's, it's kind of just fun. It's kind of just fun. The one thing you need to remember with ChatGPT is it's trained on 2021 data. So when you're asking for anything relevant to your neighborhood or to the interest rates, it's not going to have that up to date information. Now, AIPRM does have a live crawling feature on our paid plans that allows you to pull in information from the internet. But if you're just working with chat GPT like natively, it's not going to be up to date. So you need to remember that whenever you are, you know, using AI generated content. But this is a your mortgage and real estate marketing consultant. Ask me anything related to real estate and mortgage marketing. Okay, so let's ask it what um where are the best places to find clients? And let's just see what this this prompt this chat GPT bot has got. Ah, the golden question. He's got a little sense of humor. Um, finding clients is indeed the heart and soul of real estate. And I must say, it's a bit like a treasure hunt, exciting, rewarding, and always offering new paths to explore. So let's dive right in. Referrals, networking events, social media, open houses and property showings. So one of the cool things with AIPRM prompts is they get you started and going in the right direction. However, this is ongoing. It can almost be like a conversation. So even though you'll get excellent output the first time, if you know what you want and it's missing, you can always continue to work on the prompt in the little chat context. It, with AIPRM, there's actually a really cool feature here, this power continue, which allows you to actually use these commands to continue to expand, rewrite, shorten in different ways. So AIPRM provides a range of different features to really optimize the generated AI content. But as a real estate agent, if you're doing any of this marketing or sales or email writing yourself, this is your in, this is your tool to like 10 X your productivity to make you get so much more done over the course of a day, a week, a month than you've ever been able to. And the quality is really good. The quality is actually really impressive. So there you have it. Chat GPT and AI PRM marketing for real estate agents. Check out the prompt library, do a search. There's thousands there. And if you do have any questions, Please don't hesitate to leave a comment, reach out to us, join our community at the AIPRM forums. We'd love to have you ask a question. Everyone's friendly. Thanks again for watching. My name's Garrett Sussman of AIPRM. We'll catch you later.